Restrictive eating is one of the hardest, most pain in the neck aspects of our fitness culture. And not only may it be completely unnecessary for you to do, but it may actually even be holding you back, which I'll explain in today's video. We're talking today about restrictive eating, having restrictions on your diet. And there's two different kinds. There's restricting what you're eating, and of course, restricting how much you are eating. Restriction is one of the worst ways to ensure a healthy diet. The reason for this is because the whole point of a healthy diet is to support and satisfy your appetites. As I explain in my book, Fitness Independence, restriction can be very detrimental to mind and body. It can make your diet extremely unhealthy. But it's understandable where we get this idea because one of the biggest problems we have in our fitness culture now is overconsumption. We're eating way too much of everything and we're eating too much of certain things like processed foods, sugar and carbs and stuff like that. So naturally it makes sense to say, well, if we're eating too much of these things, having less will make us leaner, healthier and feel better. And that does happen to a large degree. But then the logic train just jumps right off the rails when we think the reason why it worked was because we ate less of something. The underlying natural principle of healthy dieting isn't about just what you eat. It's not about intake. It's your intake balanced with your expenditure. It's the balance between these two that is controlling everything. And it's not just calories in, calories out. This is water, this is protein, this is carbs, this is sugar, vitamins, minerals, everything. Your state right now and changes in your body depends on this balance between intake and expenditure. So naturally, if we're intake is way high, we're like, whoa, this is bad. We're really throwing out of balance coming down brings us into balance and we're like, oh, that's good. But when we think to ourselves, well, if less is good, then even less is even better. Oh no, now we're starting to get into a really ugly situation here. We have hunger, we have cravings, we have low uh, energy level, we have compromised immune system and so on. So this is why constant restriction and basing your diet on just restriction alone can be such a bad idea because the goal of a healthy diet isn't to restrict and starve and strangle your body and mind from deprivation, it's to feed and support and satisfy your appetites. And that can quickly become very difficult to happen if deprivation is our basic game plan. So let's talk practical application here, all right? Let's go let the rubber meet the road. One, get to a stable dietary habit. So like I mentioned before, you can only make things better after you stabilize. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, or two meals a day, whatever you wanna do, but get to a regular meal pattern on a daily basis. What you eat, how much you eat, when you eat, that's going to give your body and mind stability, and then you can make changes and adjustments. Two is of course, naturally focus on whole foods, because whole foods make it very difficult to overconsume while also giving you a lot of nutritional support, so you're much greater chances of satisfying your appetites while not being as much of a risk of overconsumption. Three, get your physical activity level up. Remember, it's not intake. It's intake versus expenditure. And if your expenditure is higher, then you have a lot more of a buffer on your intake. You can eat more. You can eat more carbs. You can eat more sugar. You can eat more junk food even because your body can actually use it. Consider this. This is your total caloric expenditure in three ways. You got your BMR, you got your thermic effect of food, which is minor, and then you got your physical activity, right? And that's all physical activity that you do. Now your BMR is the amount of calories you need to be healthy, to operate your body as well as possible. And that's why I'm always telling people, don't eat less than your BMR. For most people, it's in the mid-teens or so. I'm like 1,700 calories or so. Because when you eat less than that, you're setting off serious alarm bells within your body. You're basically starving yourself. So your body naturally makes metabolic adaptions and changes and things like that, and it's very stressful and very uncomfortable. So that's why I'm always saying, at least get that many calories. But then you're kind of, if this is kind of like your, your lower level, now you can only go up. But if your physical activity level is really low, you get this tiny little window that you can work in. So if you go lower, that's not so good, but your one taco truck visit away from gaining weight and overloading your system. So when your physical activity level is higher, look at this big buffer you've got. You got this range, it's like, yeah, sure, let's go out for ice cream. You're still losing weight. Or you can be here and say, I need to lose a little weight, and it's easy to cut back 
and still be perfectly healthy. And last but not least, listen to your hunger and your satiety. Your body's constantly giving you signals on whether it needs more or whether it's had enough. And these signals are very fine tuned to what you actually need. But unfortunately, with our restrictive approaches in our dietary culture, we're taught to ignore or even fight these desires. That's really crazy. That's like telling someone who's learning to drive, I want you to ignore stop lights and speed limit signs. These are the very things that are keeping you on track and we're fighting ourselves. It's complete backwards thinking. So yes, eating less of some things can be beneficial and can be helpful, but only to a point. And with increasing physical activity and listening to your satiety and hunger cues, focusing on whole foods and stuff, you give yourself a lot more of a buffer to still be happy, healthy, and lean, while not having nearly as much restriction as you think you need to have. All right, check out these videos for more information here. Thoughts and comments down below. I always read all of your comments. Even if I don't respond to them, I always appreciate you leaving them down below. Thank you very, very much for watching. Be fit, live free.